A northeast mother is begging for her son to be released from Carstairs, home to some of Scotland's most violent criminal offenders. Tracy Gibbon from Kemney fears unless she can pay for an expensive assessment privately, her son will remain institutionalised for the rest of his life. Shan Donaldson reports. Kyle Gibbon first started telling his mum he felt different to the other children in primary school. He went on to be diagnosed with moderate learning difficulties and ADHD. His mum Tracy says her son was a patient at Cornhill Hospital in Aberdeen. He was about to go into supported accommodation but was sent to Carstairs instead. Shocked um, because I thought, you know, I thought you would have to be a, a, a criminal to be going into Carstairs. I didn't know that it, someone from another hospital could just be transferred down because Kyle didn't have a criminal record. Kyle has been held 160 miles away from his family in Kemney at the Learning Disability Unit at Carstairs on and off since 2010. Tracy says he's subject to the same restraints the Maximum Security State Hospital uses on its violent inmates. During one incident with staff, Kyle's arm was broken, leaving him with 45 staples and two metal plates. It was horrendous, I couldn't believe it. Um, he's got to be permanently scarred and he's apparently got to have difficulties with that arm. Um, and the doctors at the, that did the operation said that arm should never be restrained. In a statement, Carstairs Hospital say the staff response must be justified and appropriate, with an emphasis on prevention and not physical intervention. Now local MSP Alexander Burnett says he's raised the issue with Scottish Government Mental Health Minister Claire Hawhey. From speaking to his mother, I've been extremely concerned for Kyle's welfare. Uh, there have been a number of incidents uh, which I've asked the minister to look into uh, and I really hope that she responds uh, uh, quickly. Carl has been institutionalised unnecessarily. I think he'd had, if he'd had the right diagnosis and the right treatment, uh, he could be at home with his mother and his family uh, rather than spending time in an institution surrounded by prisoners. Tracy believes with the right treatment, her son, who's now 31, could have had a bright future. But to get an independent private assessment of his needs costs £2,000. She's now desperate to get him the help he needs. He's still very homesick after all these years. He cries on the phone, tells me he misses me. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's just never gotten the chance or the things put in place for him. You know what I mean? He's just been put in there and forgotten about. I just want Kyle to have a, a happy a home life and be happy and um, just have a normal life that people just take for granted. I just want him to be the same. Well, Sharon's in the studio with me now. How likely do you think it is that Kyle Gibbon will be transferred closer to his mother? Well, it's a very complex situation, isn't it, Andrea? I mean, clearly, Kyle was sectioned under the Mental Health Act, so the authorities thought that was the right course of action for them to take. The Mental Health Commission say that they visit Carstairs at least twice a year to hear any patient feedback they may have, and there are strict legal processes in place in terms of detaining patients in hospital. But obviously, Kyle's mother, Tracy, Tracy feels very differently. She feels she needs a care in the community package and she hopes a private assessment will help her get that done. Where does this story go next? Well, up to the Scottish Government. But the Scottish Government at the moment are saying they can't comment due to patient confidentiality. All right, Sean, thanks for that.